So I got this weird error when I opened up Discord that was really frustrating. So I opened up Discord and it said a JavaScript error occurred in the main process. Of course, that makes sense. We know exactly what that means. What? So um, what it says essentially is that a file is missing. So I was like, okay, well, I guess I'll just uninstall it and reinstall it. So I go to uninstall it and I get an error that says Windows can't find this file, the update file, make sure you typed the name correctly, just like you can see here. So I was like, well, that's a bummer. I can't open it. I can't uninstall it. So I guess I'll just try and reinstall it. So I go to reinstall and it says installation has failed. Open a setup log. So I decided, okay, I'll open up the setup log. I've debugged things before. It should make sense. So I open up the setup log right here and it's a bunch of gibberish, but there was this one part that said, hey, you can't find a part of the file. Voila. So I realized totally corrupt, not going to work. So I went to the internet and started searching. So what we're going to do in this video is I'm going to show you exactly the solution that I found that works. Um, but before we do dive in, I want to remind you guys that I do stream on Twitch every Thursday and Sunday night. So if you want to continue this conversation, uh, you can find me there. Or if this worked for you, I'd love to hear. So you can put in the comments below or just come over to Twitch and let me know. Let's go ahead and dive in and I'll show you how to fix that problem. So there is one prereq to go ahead and get this install finished. So what we're going to do first is we're going to head over to 7zip.org and this link will be in the description below. You're going to choose the 64-bit download. Go ahead and click that download link. It's going to come up down here. We're just going to click it and open it and go through the install process. So go ahead and install it. And that's it. That's your prereq. You're done with that. So now we're going to go ahead and close this. And what we can do is we can head over to the Discord uh, download. So you're going to download Discord for Windows. We're not going to click the installer because that doesn't work. We already know that. So what you're going to do is you're going to click the up arrow and say show in folder. Once you're there, now that we have 7-zip installed, when you right click on a file, you get a new option called 7-zip. You're going to extract to Discord setup. Click that. And then double click there. And right here you have this Discord, the version full. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna right click that, same thing, 7-zip, extract to Discord version full. Then when you double click it, you click on lib, you click on net 45, and the application Discord is right here. Uh, so you can double click that. and it opens there we go the important thing here is we're not going to remember that path so we want to make sure that we pin it but before we pin it we also want to move it outside of the downloads folder because a lot of people don't really keep stuff in their downloads folder so if you look on your computer on the left normally there's a spot that says this pc in this local disk c so what you're going to do is you're going to take this discord setup folder and you're going to drag it oops you're going to drag it into local disk c once it's there, then we can go back through the path. And again, that's Discord setup, Discord version full, lib, net45, Discord. If you click on it once and then right click it, you can pin to taskbar. You can also right click it and pin to start, which it's already pinned. So it would give me the option of unpinning, but we're going to go ahead and leave it pinned to start. So now, it's down here in the taskbar and it's also going to be right here in your start menu. So go ahead and double click that or clicking your taskbar start menu doesn't really matter. And there you go. There is discord working again for you. If that fixed your problem, go ahead and hit that thumbs up and subscribe button. I would really appreciate it. And I hope that you enjoy your discord servers. Talk to you guys next time.